We're going to play a little game of If You Only Knew. Okay. So what's a guilty pleasure of yours? Uh, the Bachelor. Oh, God, a guilty pleasure. I wish I had time for a guilty pleasure. Um, uh, like all those HGTV renovation shows. I could Childhood just... celebrity crush. Rob Lowe. Oh, God. Oh. oh, wait, New Kids on the Block, the entire oh, band. That, yes, all them. of them. Yeah, 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 I'm with that, too. Something the other is embarrassed to admit she enjoys. Ooh. Oh. What are you embarrassed? Throw you Should under the bus right part, now. Know, bus you Should we so just bad. plead the fifth on for each okay. other? I mean, Sarah secretly just loves plastic surgery. Do you want to be honest about it? Yeah, just I've <laughs> had it from head to toe. Is what? Come on. No, I'm kidding. She's I don't kidding. know she's what. A what she's a stand-up comedian. Comedian. Okay. Lady. Don't believe a word she says. If your sister could trade places with someone for a day, who would it be? Who do you think she'd trade places? Tina Fey. Yeah, that'd be a great one. Who would she trade places? You would trade places with uh, Mirka Federer. <laughs> she has a great life. <laughs> great life. A great family life. member other than each other you turn to for advice. Our youngest sister, Jordan. Yeah, our youngest sister, Jordan, for sure. And Both my of dad. you would turn to your youngest. Oh no, she sister. would turn to our younger sister. I mean, you guys. I would kind of go to Jordan or my dad. He's 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 he gives very harsh advice, but at least it's real. Very real. Now you have sisters Gigi and Bella, right? Yeah. Our, yes. Our dad. Well, our dad's not married to hurt their mom anymore. But they're Ooh. still our. Yeah. <laughs> we love them. Who would win in a fight, Gigi or Bella? Bella. Bella's tough. And Gigi's Gigi so... Yeah, yeah Bella would cream so innocent. her. What's the biggest upside to fame? I mean, I don't really know yet. I'm not famous, but I think the upside you to fame... You have a famous name. I think the upside to fame is having a platform to say whatever it is that you care to say, whether that's a cause that is, you're passionate about yeah. or it's a voice you want to bring to the table or, you know, women in comedy. I think, like, it's a really great time for women to be funny and feel attractive at the same time and be able to do it all. I feel like women used to feel like you had to be in a category of being hot and dumb and quiet or being loud and funny and ugly. And now you get to be whatever you want to be. And I think that's a really great time for us. How do you view it, Sarah? Oh, gosh, how could I say it any better than her? You probably couldn't. I probably could <laughs> <laughs> What do people get wrong about Los Angeles? Oh. You know, people talk about Los Angeles like there's no culture. We actually got, we were on a, uh, on a talk show once where we referred to um, our show being about L.A. culture, and we click, quickly got schooled on that. And I, I disagree. L.A. has a lot of culture, and I'm proud to be from here. And, you know, you when too, people like to look down yeah. at it, I'm like, you know what? P -p Hail New York. Hail L.A. too. I'm proud to be from L.A. Yeah. Tell me an embarrassing story about her. Oh, Lord. Oh. <sighs> I'm already read. Sarah already is going to hate this. No, no, no. I just mean any story I'm going to have. An embarrassing uh, story? Sarah. Oh, God. Where do I start? Larry, can I do another segment just on this? <laughs> uh, Give me one quick thing. Okay. Sarah, when we were little, she was very vain. Um, and she needed a lot of attention. <laughs> and Are she, you going to tell the photo shoot story? Yes. Oh, so, Aaron. Sarah, basically, uh, we had, you know, like a Polaroid camera. No, what's the, like, disposable camera? And Sarah was like, let's take modeling pictures of each other. You can do the first Naturally. half of the film of me, and then I'll do the second half of you. I was like, great. So I take the first 16 photos of Sarah, and she's like sprawled out on the bed, and she's like, I don't know what she's wearing. She's 11 years old. It's very inappropriate. And we got to the, seventh, the 16th picture, and we did it, and she had had a whole photo shoot. And I was like, okay, it's my turn. And she was like, you think I'm going to take your picture? That's so embarrassing. Get a life. And then she just made me develop the pictures of Sarah, and I never got my photo shoot. What can you tell about her? Embarrassing story about Erin? I wouldn't want to do that to you. Oh, you're so sweet. Oh, wow. Wow. She's I don't, so nice. I wouldn't, I wouldn't. Uh, what's something people don't know film? about you? Something about, you know, I'm very athletic. I am very, very, and very. And you're very into political, into like international politics. Sarah is actually very. I, I love that yes. people are surprised by that. Yeah. That would be something. Well, I mean, it is surprising. You don't no. have to be. You just, are you supporting we just, we, anyone in the current political race? I am a Democrat. So and you? I will support. Well, I'm a very liberal person, and I'm a big Bernie Sanders fan. However, we feel the burn. I will vote for Hillary when she is nominated. Yeah. Watch new episodes of Larry King Now, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, on demand on Aura TV and Hulu.